Hi, today we're going to prepare a new heat enameled cast iron Dutch oven for its first use. We will then be cooking a beef pot roast in it on our soapstone wood burning stove. We're also going to compare it to our off brand Dutch oven, which we'll be cooking the vegetables in. So this should be a lot of fun. So I'm so glad you're here. Grab a cup of coffee and let's get right into this. When I went to the Stove website, they had a video that I watched that actually said that you don't wipe the vegetable oil off, that you go ahead and preheat gradually at one third, which is low of the heat source for three to five minutes. Then after it cools down, you wipe away the excess vegetable oil and then you're ready to go. It sounds like periodically you should go ahead and do this because then that way your food and material is not gonna stick as much in the Dutch oven. Super excited because today we are going to be cooking with a Dutch oven and a French oven on our soapstone wood burning stove. So over here we've got a no name or it's an off brand Dutch oven. And this French oven happens to be made by Stove. And these names are interchangeable. Um, Dutch oven, French onion. <laughs> and these names are pretty much interchangeable. But the Stove is made in France so it's technically a French oven and this one would be our Dutch oven. The big difference is that the stove has these spikes on it and the Dutch oven has ridges on it. So that helps to make the condensation drip down. So I've got a boneless beef roast here we're going to cook with and also some vegetables. So I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil. Now I'm going to add a boneless beef roast. Oops, I forgot to rub in some sea salt. Probably should have rubbed it in the bottom, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, we'll just give this a bath when I'm done. It's a lot of salt. That's the way I like it. Eh, we'll put a little down there anyhow. We'll make some of these small. Eh, maybe we'll do some chunks here. The knob is stainless steel. Again, it's made in France. This is 24 centimeters, which is 9 and 3 eighths inches. So these are those spikes, the innovative spikes. See if that helps you to see them here. So this is 100% pure canola oil. And here's some carrots. And I tried to sort of cut them to size that maybe, if we're lucky, they're going to get done about the same time. Some white onion. Some garlic. I think we'll kind of chunk it a little bit this time. I think we're going to hold off a little bit with the broccoli. We're going to wait until the carrots and potatoes and onion get done and then this broccoli will go in. And just a little bit of salt, not too much. And we'll get the lid on. So I think what we'll do is we'll get this on top of the soapstone wood burning stove before it heats up so it can more gradually heat up our French oven. How come the trees get sun dried when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold on 
until winter comes. Until winter comes. Until winter comes. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. All right, Dave. So it's been about two hours. So if you want to get a clip of me coming over here, we can show <laughs> our viewers what it looks like inside. Okay. Oh. You can really smell garlic in pretty much the whole house now. Oh, I'll bet. That's cool. All right. How about the other one? It looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Looks really, really good. Normally I would take these and open them in the kitchen so I don't spill on the soapstone. <laughs> but it's just a better vibe for you guys for the video. So yeah, we love our stove. Just so we can come down here, we can see what the temperature on the stove is. Just about 400. It's a little over three hours later, so I think we'll get some broccoli in here. All right. All right, let's do it, babe. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think it is. Mm -mm. No, it should fall apart. Yeah. It smells good. Oh my goodness. Does it ever? Should we check the potatoes? Sure. Ooh, broccoli's oh, done. These are all wow. done, yeah. What about the potatoes? Well, they're, I'm sure they are. They're in the bottom. Let's take a look. Should we just look in there? Yeah. Potatoes yeah. are done. How about carrots? Yes. Oh, Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Great. Could have robbed some of these juices to put in with the potatoes maybe too. You know, I could have seared this as well. So yeah, this is done. Does that give you an idea what that looks like? Oh my. Oh man, it's good. I know this isn't wood, but I just want to get a little bit of the juice because you're gonna want the juice. That's what gives it all, all the flavors in this juice. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it, I should say. So we'll bring a little bit over to Michelle. We'll have her taste this. Smells really good. There's hesitation. My mouth was full. Uh -huh. It's really good. Did you salt it? Yes. Can you taste it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like perfect. It's uh, moist, it's flavorful. Continue to make these videos, please. <laughs> All right, let's see how it tastes. Oh my goodness. Is it good? Carrot tastes like carrot. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> broccoli tastes like broccoli. Sometimes they kind of all blend together. Mm -hmm. So what I'm getting at is they have their independent flavors. Just needs a little salt. It is stinking good. Oh my goodness. So I think next time what we'll do is we'll put those vegetables on a couple hours after we put the meat on. 